Oh, it's a chilly one. Beautiful though. Not quite as much snow as the other day, but there's still some remaining. Uh, you can see there's a lovely dry patch around the shelter here, which is always good to see. And lovely and dry inside. And um, yeah, I'm gonna have to sort this fire pit is job number one, because some of you may have seen on Instagram, it was full of water and is now frozen over. Well now, that's a lot better. Still some ice in there, but I think it's more frozen coals and stuff. Right, on to job number two. That's some wood prepped. That's uh, oak behind me there. That's a really nice piece of oak to split actually. I don't know if it's brittle because of the cold or what, but it was lovely. And down here I've got a mixture of chestnut, and birch, and probably some other bits and bobs as well. So that plus what's around the side, I think I'm pretty set up. When I built this shelter in the spring, I said how nice it might look covered in snow, and I wasn't wrong or disappointed. Just had a little walk down to the stream here to see what it's like on the lowlands here. It's uh, a lot more cold and still quite snowy compared to up on the hilltop over there anyway. Stream's running anyway. <laughs> I've got a couple of robins flying around camp. I love it when they do that. They're so inquisitive. I'll try and uh, film one if I can, but as soon as I go to grab the camera they fly off. If I sit here in silence they come over. They'll be back in the morning after they've gone to roost. <laughs> right, what I might do, as I did get out here quite late today, um, is process a little kindling, because I've done all the jobs that I wanted to do 
pretty quickly. <laughs> um, more relaxed camp this one than the last snow camp. We was kind of up against it there and uh, obviously I had wood stored here whereas there we had to saw it and everything for the fire and for the stoves. Small stuff, some medium stuff, and some slightly bigger stuff until we move on to the logs. And while we're here, I've got a piece of birch bark here and a piece of fat wood. So I'm just going to process that down. That's just going to live inside the fire pit here, make sure it doesn't blow away until I need it. I don't think I'm going to be sitting on my bench today. Fancy a brew before the sun goes down. Got my little trencher alcohol burner in my little pouch. These are by David Fryers. Got a couple of his pouches, you've seen them before. Lovely little canvas things. Good. Oh, that's warming my insides up. <laughs> ah, well, other than lighting the fire, I've got one other job, and that's my Christmassy job. Little surprise. Um, I only realised just before I left the house that this is going to be Christmas week. This video. So, to all you, happy Christmas. Hope you have a great one, and thanks for a great year here on the channel and all your support. I hope it's uh, brought you the joy that it has me. Um, so many plans, <laughs> some you don't get to, uh, some don't work out, but uh, yeah, this year is the year of doing. At least we got this completed this year, a couple more shelters to do in the new year. Well, depending on the weather. <laughs> Right, I'm going to put some of that oak on the bottom here, followed by our shavings of fatwood. And I'm just going to put a brace up as well. The sun's gone below the horizon, so it'll be setting very soon. So I'm going to get this going. Very tiny bits of kindling.
Well that has gone up nicely, that dry wood. A bit different from last video. Keeping an eye on things here as things defrost. This is one reason I built the base for the fire so any moisture melting can drip out the bottom. The edges of this snow are going to melt off as well but they can go in between the rocks and the fire pit. Well that's the sun nearly down. What do you think of the uh, Christmas lights? <laughs> Very last minute. Luckily I had some of them you now things up here. So I was able to put them up. <laughs> I should have worn my Christmas hat. Never mind. Right, I'm gonna build this fire up, um, get some heat and get some coals. Alright, let's build this up. I'm gonna put some of that really dry birch and chestnut on and then that's going to help catch some of this oak which takes a little longer to catch a couple of bits kindling I should save some for the morning really can always do some more I'm actually pretty toasty. Uh, I haven't got my big coat. That's uh, been a little bit lost in the move, but I've got my um, padded trousers on. They're like fleece lined, the uh, Slognack ones that I um, reviewed, God, three or four years ago now. But um, yeah, last winter, didn't even get to use them. It, it just was so mild. But uh, yeah, I predicted this winter <laughs> was gonna be a cold one. So yeah, I'm a bit warmer than I was last week. Well, last week's video has been rained on by ice. <laughs> this fire is lovely now. Get that warmed up. got in here some duck, it's actually uh, vacuum formed, so I'm just going to put some water in there with it. And get this on the fire and heat it up. I'm really looking forward to this and I'm glad it's a quick prep one. It's just kind of two stages really, um, because that duck is kind of pre con feed. <sighs> Ooh, a little bit cold back from the fire here. <laughs> yeah, because I didn't have lunch, so looking forward to it. OK, 
gonna slice my hot dog buns open. Actually, I'm just gonna have to go all the way through really because I'm gonna stick them on the grill just to toast them gently. Okay, that should be hot through by now. So I'm just gonna take that out. I'm gonna leave it in the bag and keep it warm next to the fire. And I'm gonna save some of this water. Well, I'm gonna save it all, but save some in the pot. And in that pot, I'm gonna to add to the water, if I can get it out, some red wine jus paste. It's coming, it's coming. And some festive red currant jam. And with that grilling, I'm putting the duck on the grill. Just to get a little crust on it. Now we're gonna add some red currants into the sauce here. While that thickens up. And now I'm putting the duck meat in the sauce, but not the bones. And my last step here is just to toast off the buns, which have been lightly oiled. Now, just to build the dish, I've got some mayonnaise and some pea shoots on there. And here is our duck, red currants and all. Very festive. Oh, that looks magnificent. And I am starving. burn off some of them bits of duck that's stuck. Well, I've got my closed cell foam mat and that just stops splinters and things and I've brought with me my Amok mat, inflatable because it's got a better R value than my Therma Rest. This being the, the winter light. And I've just got the pump sack to go with that there. Just plugs in there. Fill it there. And fill. crack a beer I've got a Munich Hells which is like a Hells lager load up that fire oh, I'm still thinking of dinner <laughs> it was an hour or so ago now it was so good. It was actually um, a HelloFresh meal. Shh, this video is not sponsored. <laughs> but I told you they're good for camping. Oh, just watching the fire. I'm gonna lay back for a bit and chill out.
that's the fire built up. Get some heat reflecting in here, at least while I go to sleep. And I'll see you guys in the morning. quick walk to the edge of the woodland just to get some shots see if there was a sunrise Ooh. yeah very cold um colder than the last couple of camps um i think the nearest town was like minus six or something like that so god knows what it was out here but, uh, i do love that sleeping bag i did stoke the fire um in the night after having to pee just for a little bit of warmth Nothing like a morning slushy. Will that come out? Oh, okay. I did have the water in the sleeping bag with me, but along with the batteries and that, <laughs> I just uh, put it out. Couldn't be bothered. It's okay, it pours. If not, I could melt it by the fire. Well, there's lots of snow about. Should be gone in a day or two though. I think the temperature's about to rise and um, I think we've got some rain next week as well. But I'm having the week off for Christmas. something special for the breakfast spam <laughs> I've not had spam on a camp in a while and I had some so I thought let's go for it first up our slushy kettle on there we go on with the spam 
take long. And I personally like a bit of cracked black pepper on my spam. Throw some oil over this side. Couple of eggs. Also toasting a little bit of bread as well. Well, I forgot to pack any tomato ketchup. But I found an emergency one in the pack. <laughs> oh, has it got a tear strip? Yes, it has. Ooh. I think actually I'm going to make a bit of a, whoops, sperm and egg salami. Oh, that was much needed. I feel warm now. And the sun's coming up above the trees. Right, that's me done, packed away, and time to get home. It's so peaceful when it snows. I guess the snow just absorbs any sound, but I love it. <laughs> Hope you will get more. All right, very Merry Christmas to a lot of you. I'll see you in the new year. Have a good one. <laughs>